Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today iOS 8.1 was released to the general public, and in this video I'm going to discuss not only the new firmware, but also how it relates to and affects jailbreaking. All right, and to start off opening up Safari here, if you happen to miss any of my recent videos, I highly recommend going to my channel and you can do that simply by clicking my channel name below if you're on the main page for this video. There I have created a plethora of videos on not only iOS 8, but also the next untethered jailbreak. All right, and also before we start, this video is brought to you in part by Free App Life, where you can earn paid apps and gift cards by downloading apps. All right, now let's get right into the news in this video. So starting off, as I previously mentioned, iOS 8.1 is available for download via either Apple's over the air update ability or through iTunes. So take for example, my iPhone 6 plus here, I'm going to go inside of the settings app general and then software update and it will automatically check. As you can see, it has determined that 8.1 is available for download. So I'm not going to actually do this, however, and I'll explain why shortly. So let's go ahead and refocus here and get back to iOS 8.1 and how it relates to jailbreaking. So switching over here to another article, as I previously mentioned today, after only two developments, developer beta releases, Apple issued iOS 8.1, the first substantial 8.x update that introduces a number of enhancements to the general public. Like its iOS 8.0.x predecessors, namely last month's 8.0.2 update, 8.1 patches the untethered Pangu jailbreak. And although it sounds rather bleak, 8.1 provides a bright beacon of hope for the first iOS 8 jailbreak. Beyond the option to update to iOS 8.1 via iOS's built-in over-the-air or OT TA update ability as I demonstrated on my iPhone 6 Plus here. 8.1 can be downloaded and installed directly through iTunes, which is the preferred method. However, current iOS 7 through 7.1.2 jailbreak users should unquestionably avoid the latest firmware. In the first true significant revision since iOS 8's initial release, Apple has introduced a number of welcomed features, improvements, and bug fixes in the company's latest 8.1 firmware, which also supports the latest iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch models, especially the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus and the upcoming iPad Air 2 and iPad Mini 3, both of which are scheduled for release this week. Now, as with every iOS 8 release, the vulnerabilities the Pangu team managed to exploit to achieve an untethered jailbreak remain patched in 8.1, making it impossible for any device to jailbreak 8.1 when employing the current Pangu tool. That being said, today's news isn't all bad. Far from it, in fact. As confirmed by iOS 8.1's release notes, in addition to offering a plethora of changes, the firmware comes bearing a revised build number over 8.0.2. And beyond correcting a number of bugs as solidified by both 8.1, Beta 1, and Beta 2, the updated public 8.1 release rectifies the complication with Bluetooth devices, adds public support for iCloud Photo Library Beta, the feature that allows users to store their photo library in its entirety in iCloud, SMS forwarding that enables Macs with OS XEOS Yosemite and iPads with 8.1 to send and receive SMS and MMS messages provided the user has an iPhone on 8.1, intelligent tethering via instant hotspot with Yosemite, and most importantly, Apple Pay for the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Now, although 8.1 adds a wide array of features, it's recommended for all of those who are currently jailbroken on any firmware from iOS 7 through 7.1.2 avoid the latest 8.1 release. Hypothetically speaking though, if an update were performed on a jailbroken device, it would result in the loss of said device's jailbreak, effectively making it impossible to jailbreak until a new utility is released, as it's also impossible to downgrade from 8.1 to 7.1.2, being the latest firmware that's still supported by the Pangu jailbreak. And I cannot stress that enough, guys. If you're currently jailbroken, on iOS 7 through 7.1.2, an update to iOS 8, in this case 8.1, will result in the loss of your device's jailbreak and you will be locked out of jailbreaking until a new jailbreak utility is released and made available for iOS 8. So keep that in mind, that is very important. So again, as previously mentioned, if you're currently jailbroken on 7.x, avoid updating to 8.1 like the plague until a new tool is released, provided you care more about your jailbreak than the new features iOS 8.x brings 
brings to the table, that is. However, if you're currently on iOS 8.0 through 8.0.2, by all means, feel free to update to 8.1. It won't affect your future ability to jailbreak as the next untethered utility will jailbreak 8.1 in addition to the 8.0.x firmwares that preceded it. However, be sure to update through iTunes. And to do that, simply connect your device to your computer via a standard USB cable, open iTunes, and check for a software update. Once you've done that, install the update again through iTunes. It's important that you don't do it through Apple's over-the-air OTA software update ability, as it can definitely cause complications if you were to jailbreak a device that was updated through the OTA update option. The jailbreak developers themselves even recommend that you jailbreak a device that again was updated through iTunes. So with that said, let's go ahead and continue by briefly discussing what we know about the future of jailbreaking and the next public iOS 8 jailbreak. So essentially, in addition to the evaders, the long-standing dev team on the jailbreak scene responsible for the first untethered iOS 6 and iOS 7 jailbreaks, being Evasion and Evasion 7 respectively, the new Pangu team is also working hard to develop a new tool of their own. And as of now, like with years past, both teams are likely in the late vulnerability discovery and exploitation stages. Remember, the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus were released about a month ago. iOS 8.1, the first true significant 8.x update, was just released today, and the iPad Air 2 and iPad Mini 3 will be available later this week. So while all of the pieces of the puzzle are undeniably falling into place, the last being the iPad Air 2 and its all-new A8X CPU, which differs over even that of the A8 chip found in the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, the teams will require additional time for testing and fine-tuning. Also, as I've previously stated numerous times, Pengu is essentially racing against the evaders to create the first iOS 8 jailbreak. They're actually financed by a third-party Chinese company with other monetary interest in jailbreaking. So while we may see a jailbreak utility sooner than in years past, keep in mind that it takes hundreds if not thousands of hours to not only discover new vulnerabilities for potential exploitation in a utility, but also to test it. With iOS 8, there are more devices supported by the latest public firmware than ever before. We have older devices and newer devices rolling in with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus and the upcoming iPad Air 2 and iPad Mini 3. So creating a jailbreak is incredibly hard. Both teams are undeniably working as fast as they possibly can to create a utility for you guys to again jailbreak iOS 8 and in this case iOS 8.1. So keep that in mind and of course I will have the first untethered jailbreak tutorial for you guys once a utility is released and made available to the public. So if you aren't already subscribed and you're on the main page for this video, click the subscribe button down below by my channel name. Once you've done that, you will be among the first to be notified of an iOS 8 jailbreak. All right, and that's it for now. If you guys like this video and you're interested in my upcoming iPad Air 2 and possibly iPhone 6 Plus giveaway, be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comments section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll also need to download free app life by visiting either bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just free app life.com inside of mobile Safari. After hitting download, press the home button, open the app, and if you're on iOS 8, download the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's never even installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. After that, simply download sponsored apps for points and refer friends for even more points. Said points can then be used for various prizes, including paid apps, gift cards, and electronic devices. All right, and as I stated before, that's it for now. To be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering things like the next untethered iOS 8 jailbreak, the iPad Air 2, the iPad Mini 3, and the forthcoming Apple Watch, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.